What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my top 10 potential surprise returns for the 2024 Royal Rumble match. I've got some picks for the men, I've got some picks for the women, I've got a couple of honourable mentions which I'm going to chuck in right now. Some potential returns of people that are already on the roster but are currently out injured. We've got Liv Morgan, Braun Strowman, Sheamus and Brock Lesnar. Now, without further ado, those are my four honourable ones. Let's get into my ten actual picks. Coming in at my number ten pick, we have someone that was on the list last year. They didn't, unfortunately, return in the match. However, this year, it could be a possibility. I am, of course, talking about the legend X-Pac, former D-Generation X member, Will he return? I don't know. We've seen him say in interviews that he would be open to doing something like a six-man tag or a Royal Rumble. He doesn't think he could necessarily return in ring full-time doing whatever, you know, singles competition day in, day out. But for a surprise return in a Rumble match, I would like to see X-Pac. What do you guys think? My number nine pick is someone that has been signed to the WWE for a little while now, but has only made a few on-screen appearances and hasn't actually wrestled since she has been with the company. Of course, I am talking about Jade Cargill. Do I think Jade Cargill will make her debut in the Royal Rumble match as a surprise entrant? Absolutely. I think this one is more likely than most. Jade has been on screen. She's been shown to be in the WWE 100%, but they haven't debuted her yet. Why? Are they saving her for something like the Rumble? I think so. Number eight is the return of El Idolo, Andrade Cien Almas, or Andrade El Idolo, or just Andrade, whatever you want to call him. He goes by so many different names. Of course, Andrade has recently finished up with AEW. This has been confirmed by the man himself. And we know that he is literally with Charlotte Flair, who is in WWE. And for convenience sake, if you're a couple... Surely you want to work under the same company. Andrade was fantastic in WWE when he was there. I really enjoyed his work and I genuinely thought he was a future world champion. Was gutted when he left. Of course, went to AEW. Didn't do too much while he was there. Could he come back to the E? We'll just have to wait and see. Number seven is another pick that has just, well, rumoured to be just finishing up with her company. I am talking about Trinity, AKA Naomi. She has just dropped the TNA Women's Championship at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. I believe rumors are stating that her contract with TNA is indeed coming to its close. Does this mean she will be a surprise entrant in the Women's Royal Rumble match? I hope so. You know, the whole thing with Naomi and Sasha happened. It is what it is, it's done, they've both left. But now that WWE is under Triple H in the booking, I would like to see them two return, both of them. But Naomi in particular, I was always a big Naomi fan, loved the whole Feel the Glow gimmick. I hope to see her back in the WWE. Coming in at number six will be the surprise return of... Me! Now, you guys are probably thinking, who is this? Some of you, are, you weren't even in watching WWE. You probably weren't even alive when Mr. Kennedy was in the WWE. But Mr. Kennedy left WWE right after I became a fan. So playing with the action figures, playing all the games, that's how I knew him growing up. Hasn't been in WWE for years. He had heat with Randy Orton back in the day that basically cost him his job off a botched back suplex or something like that. But he hasn't really done anything recently. He wasn't in my mind at all. Until I saw an interview with him where he was being very, very closed about a Royal Rumble return. Now, forgive me, I can't remember the exact interview. But I saw the clip and the interviewer asked him, could he return in the Royal Rumble? And he was very sort of, you know, not turning around being like, yeah, I could. Yeah, I couldn't. He was almost just trying to sort of dismiss it ever so slightly, I guess. So that is why I have put him in. Ken Anderson, Mr. Kennedy, returning in the Royal Rumble. Could we see it? This is probably one of the more unlikely ones, but I would pop massively if I saw it. 
Coming in at number five, we are at the halfway point, and guys, this one is probably going to be obvious to some as a potential return. I am, of course, talking about The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson returning in the Royal Rumble match to win the Royal Rumble match and face Roman at WrestleMania. We've seen him return to WWE twice recently. Most recently, dropping hints that he was after the head of the table. Dropping ever so slight hints that the feud with Roman could potentially be on the table. Will he return in the Royal Rumble? I don't know. I feel like this is maybe one of the more likely ones, but I wanted to put it middle of the list just because The Rock's a weird one. As much as it's likely, it's also just as much as unlikely. So I thought centre was a good position. Will The Rock return? I have no idea. It will be interesting to see if it comes to fruition. We're getting very close to finishing this list now. Coming in at number four is Mercedes Monet, a.k.a. Sasha Banks. Now, we have seen Mercedes go to Japan. We have seen Mercedes in the crowd at All In for AEW, but talks with AEW have rumoured to not really go anywhere. So will the lady formerly known as Sasha Banks go back to where she made her name? I don't know. Once again, like I said for Naomi, with Triple H in charge now, running things, things are different. Vince doesn't have as much control, if any, control like he used to. We've seen relationships be prepared by people we never thought we would see. CM Punk came back. So I think that 100% Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet can come back and we will see her this year in the Women's Royal Rumble. Number three. Now this is a pick that is entirely determined on real life, health, well-being, fitness, all of that. I am of course talking about the return of former WWE champion, Big E. Now, this isn't a contractual thing. This isn't a, is he part of WWE? As far as I'm still aware, Big E is under contract. He is part of the WWE family to this day. But of course, broke his neck in early 2022. And we haven't seen him wrestle since. I've seen reports that Big E is getting better. But I haven't really seen much talk about an in-ring return. I'm hoping that that's because it's being kept on the down low and Big E is okay and could come back in the Royal Rumble. I'm praying, I'm hoping. Of course, the main hope and prayer was that Big E would just be okay. If he doesn't wrestle again, as long as he's healthy, that's the most important thing. But as wrestling fans, we want nothing more than to see our favourites return and Big E had so much momentum before he left the WWE due to injury. I want to see him pick up where we left off. I want to see Big E return. What do you guys think? Do we think the New Day as a three could reunite with the return of Big E? Now, the recent return of CM Punk to WWE has made me think that really anything is possible. Anything can happen in the WWE, which is why my number two pick is his wife, AJ Lee. This would pop me so hard. AJ, probably my favourite diva growing up. And it's such a shame because she was so ahead of her time. She was fantastic in the ring. If she was just there two years later when the whole women's revolution was going on, she would have fit right in. But unfortunately for AJ, she was a case of the right person at the wrong time. And I don't think she really got to fulfil what she could have done. Fulfil her full potential in the WWE. So now that her husband CM Punk has returned and they've squashed the beef between those, is a return for AJ on the cards? I mean, we've seen videos recently of her teasing it. She's been training in ring with Punk. She posted on her Instagram story her high converses that she used to wear in the ring. I really think this could be on the table, guys. And coming in at number one. My number one surprise entrant for the 2024 Royal Rumble entirely depends on the result of the bidding war of 2024. I am talking about former AEW World Champion Maxwell Jacob Friedman MJF. If MJF 
goes to WWE in the Royal Rumble. This will be the most crazy thing to kick off the year with. Uh, and uh, can you imagine the potential feuds? We could finally finish the CM Punk MJF feud. Now, of course, apparently MJF's contract was due to run out in January of this year with AEW, but he's reportedly injured. And, you know, I don't know how much of it is legit injury. I don't know how much of it is he just needs time off, whether he needs surgery, whether he needs what. I'm hearing that he could need surgery, but he's not opting to have surgery. So I don't know. Guys, this one is probably the most unlikely pick, but it would be the one that shakes the wrestling world the most. That is why it's my number one pick. MJF in the WWE. I want to see it. Do you guys want to see it? I don't know. We will just have to wait and see. But anyways, let me know your potential surprise returns in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Toss Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.